Transportation is a terrible and tragic thing. And unfortunately, we've all been seduced by it at some point in our life. Hello there, this is Pastor Pete Pavelic. Thank you so much for joining me for this edition of The Daily Devo. I would call your attention to my website, pastorpete.org. We can connect there, and uh, I would love to connect with you there. There's also a ton of resources there that can help you in your journey with the Lord. Sign up for our Daily Devo email. Today, I have been reflecting in Matthew chapter 4, the temptation of Jesus, and I just want to focus in on the brief amount of time we have for our Devo today on verses 8 through 11, the end, the third and final temptation that the devil brings into Jesus's life. It says this, again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And he said to him, I will give you all these things if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus told him, Go away, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil left him and angels came and began to serve or attend to him. Jesus told him, Go away, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. That's really what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be great commandment, great commission people. Um, You know, we're supposed to be the people that are taking the great commission to the world and sharing the gospel. And then we all know what the great commandment is, to love our neighbors as ourselves, and to love the Lord our God with all our heart and with all our minds and with all our being and who we are. And that's really what Jesus is saying here, right? Go away from me, Satan, for it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. That's what we're supposed to do. And here's the tragic and terrible thing about temptation. And the thing that most of us fail to realize any time we're tipped tempted, whether that's a financial temptation or a ministry temptation or a a sexual temptation. Uh, it, It doesn't matter what kind of temptation it is. Temptation is always about you taking your focus off of the Lord, off of the glory of the Lord and the kingdom of the Lord and the Lord's plan and purpose for your life and putting it somewhere else worshiping something else. And we've all given in to that at some point in our life. We've all given in to temptation. That is the terrible and tragic thing of it. But here's the good news when it comes to all temptation. We know what the scripture says. The scripture says there is no temptation that has seized us, no temptation that is not beatable, no temptation that we can't overrule or overturn or overcome with the power of God. And at the center of that power to overcome any temptation in our lives is what Jesus says right here. Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. Keep your focus on Him. Be a great commandment, great commission disciple. Keep your focus on Him. And then the temptation, the tragicness of temptations and the, the, the just terribleness of temptations goes away. Because you keep your mind and your heart and your eyes and everything about you purely focused on the Lord. I want to encourage you to do that today when a temptation or tomorrow when a temptation comes your way. Focus on the Lord. Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. I hope you have a great day. Go over to Matthew chapter 4. Check it out for yourself. Share this post. Come visit me at pastorpete.org. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. God bless.